Thank you. Precious people, this is a very blessed day in the Czech Republic. My name is Archbishop Dr. Onjoro. I'm a lecturer of the University of Egerton in Kenya. And today I've accompanied the men of God, the mighty prophet here. So I just want us to stand now in honor of the Lord God Almighty and invite and receive the man of God, the mighty prophet, to listen to us. Thank you, thank you very much. Let us pray right away. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we gather here today. We are meeting in the mighty name of Jesus to recognize you, Jehovah, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the mighty God of Israel, that Lord, today you may minister to us and speak to this precious nation, the nation of the Czech Republic, at the heart of Europe, that from this place you will minister to Europe and you will give them the leading of the Lord that they may know what you are instructing the church today right now that they may prepare in holiness for the glorious coming of the Messiah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask you, Lord, to arrest their hearts and focus their attention on this message. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can now be seated in the mighty presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are there some empty chairs here? Some people can sit in the front right? There are three empty chairs, right? Those of you at the back, come, come my daughter, come. Come my daughter. Another two people. Come, come my daughter, come. Come my daughter, come to me, come to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The three of you, that's enough now. They will come, the four, the four, bring one more. Thank you. This is it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry for that. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. What a blessing to come to the Czech Republic. And I want yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more, please. Thank you. Now, what a big blessing to come to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I know, and I know that uh, there are people from many other nations of Europe here. There are people here from Finland. Thank you so much. And there are people from uh, Germany, Italy, and uh, uh, 
Sweden, Slovakia. Yes, yes, Slovakia, I think that this is a door for me to come to your country. Slovakia, I think that this is a door for me to come to your country. I know that from here. And from here, the Lord has opened the door to Slovakia also. Thank you so much. And many other nations of Europe are here. Many other nations. Now, uh, before I begin, I want to appreciate the effort that uh, the team has put together. Uh, Pastor Banda. Pastor Banda. And the judge. And many other people that have been working behind the scenes. A mnoho lidí, kteří tady na pozadí tohle připravovali. I appreciate your effort for arranging this meeting here. Velmi oceňuji tu snahu, kterou jste měli při přípravu tohle schromáždění. That the Lord can bring me here to bring this glorious message. Tak aby mě sem pán přivedl, abych tady mohl tu slavnou zvěst zvěstovat. Hallelujah. Now, uh, because of time, let me begin. Why do I come to the Czech Republic at this time? In other words, why does the Lord send me to you now? Other brethren have spoken here. They have, they have spoken here. And they have said that they came to Kenya. And they saw the tremendous revival. The historic revival that is now visiting Kenya. At this time. And I want you to know that that revival does not belong to Kenya alone. Že to probuzení nepatří pouze k ní. That revival is going across the world now. A to probuzení prochází světem, kolem světa nyní. Visiting one nation after the other. A navštěvuje národ za národem. We are in Brazil. Bylo v Brazílii. We are in Finland. Jsme ve Finsku. Sweden is here. Je tady Švédsko. And many nations of Africa also. A mnoho národů v Africe také. And that is why I am here today. I am here today to speak to you because the Lord Jehovah He has spoken with me and He has spoken with me about the glorious coming of the Messiah. And there are very important issues I'm going to underscore here. In the Lord speaking with me about the coming of the Messiah, you will find out as I begin to speak to you what he has said. You will find out that there is an instruction that the Lord is giving the church. And you'll find that that instruction has to be implemented now, at this hour, in the church. Hallelujah. So, I will begin with the first conversation the conversation that gave birth to the revival, the glory that you see. The Lord, when He came to speak with me about the coming of the Messiah, what did the Lord say? I'm going to describe a small vision here. But inside that vision is going to be the instruction and the message for today to the church. Now, it was November 1, 
November 1. Bylo to 1. listopadu. November 1. 1. listopadu. 2006. 2006. Quite some time back. Už je to nějaký ten čas. When God the Father když Bůh Otec came to speak with me přišel, aby ke mně mluvil about the glorious coming of the Messiah. O slavném příchodu Mesiáši. What did the Lord say? A co Pán řekl? Look at this vision. Podívejte na to vidění. In that vision. V tom vidění. Okay, are there other translations? Jsou tady i jiné překlady? I hope you are not interfering with the people because otherwise we would have to move the translations to the back. Is everything all right? Okay, thank you very much. No, listen to this now. In that conversation, I found myself in a vision. And look at what happened. In that vision, I was looking up into the sky. And as I was looking up into the sky, the sky was dark. Absolute darkness consumed the sky. And as darkness was in the sky, then all of a sudden, Heaven opened into the dark sky. And when heaven opened into the dark sky, I was amazed because this is what I saw. I was able to see inside heaven and I saw the glory of Jehovah inside heaven. And when I saw the glory inside heaven, I saw that the glory was moving like a cloud like this. The glory of the Lord inside heaven was moving like a cloud and going through the space, the expanse of heaven. Doing its duty inside heaven, and then as I continued looking there, then I was shocked. Can the children be quiet? The glory of the Lord was moving around heaven. And as the glory of the Lord moved around heaven, the entrance to heaven is already open. And the way it opened rolled away. And then I saw now the glory of Jehovah beginning to come out of heaven into the dark sky. And when the glory of the Lord began to enter the dark sky, I saw something else. I saw the power of God. Why? Because when the glory began to descend from inside heaven, then I saw that the glory of Jehovah was chasing away the darkness that was in the sky. Was colonizing the darkness that was in the sky. Was conquering the darkness that had taken the sky. Was overthrowing the darkness. Overthrowing. You call it a coup d'état, right? Coup d'état, coup d'état. When you overthrow a government, 
when one government is overthrown, it's called a coup d'etat. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, overthrowing the darkness in the sky. And then the sky began to have light. And that light began to reach the earth. Listen to this now. As that continued, then the Lord made me look back inside heaven. Tak pan učinil, abych se kouknul zpátky dovnitř do nebe. And the more I looked inside heaven, a čím více jsem koukal dovnitř do nebe, then I saw another color, a golden color. Já jsem viděl další barvu, zlatou barvu. Within the brilliance of the glory of God. Která byla uvnitř té záře Boží slávy. I saw something golden in color. Viděl jsem něco zlatého. And when I looked at that thing, I realized it was becoming bigger and bigger. You need to translate faster, please. I realized it was becoming bigger and bigger. Larger and larger. Why? Because it was coming down towards the entrance that was open. And when that golden thing came to the entrance, then I realized they were two beautiful golden wedding rings. And I described those rings. But look at what the Lord did. The Lord, He made those rings very identical. The spiritual wedding rings that he lowered into the sky. And then when he placed them at the entrance, he began to flip them in the opposite direction. And the purpose of doing that was that I may be able to look and see the details of the beautiful spiritual wedding rings that heaven had placed at the entrance. Now, as that continued, I saw the design, the design of the wedding rings of heaven and I saw that the design of the wedding rings in this vision the spiritual wedding rings of heaven I saw that their design was antique, old it was an old design hallelujah As I looked at the design, I realized it's not for this time. Ancient. Why? Because the wedding rings he showed me were round, round. And the place that shows when you wear the ring, the part that shows like this. To místo, které ukazujete, když to nosíte, was almost plateau, a little plateau, a little flat. Bylo tam jen taková jako plošinka, trošku plocha. And there was a different type of gold there, like diamond, because it was shining like this. A bylo tam trošku jiné, jiný typ zlata, a on svítil jak diamant, tak třeba publikával. So the Lord was flipping the two in the opposite direction. Takže Pán je rotoval opačným směrem. Opposite direction. Which allowed me to see the details of the design. The secrets of heaven. Now released to man. And I was seeing these things. And then after that, the voice of the Lord now spoke from heaven. And the voice said, from today on, all authority in heaven and authority on the earth has been given to Christ Jesus. And that 
oh. when I heard that voice, that totally changed how I looked at those rings again. Because he said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Christ Jesus. So for me, when I looked at the rings now, after the voice of Jehovah has spoken, then I realized that these glorious golden wedding rings actually represent the authority of Christ. Hallelujah. Now I understood it differently. Now I began to understand that this is the representation of the authority of the Messiah. And I am going to explain to you in a short while you are going to understand why I've said that. Why they represent the authority of the Messiah. Now, silence consumed the sky. Another silence, your silence. Again, still tilting the wedding rings. Slowly in opposite, opposite direction. And the Lord made me know that the two rings were very identical, identical. Like twins. That if you put a mirror here, you will see this ring this way. The level of identity that cannot be achieved in this lifetime. And then after that, the voice spoke a second time. What did the voice say? When the voice spoke a second time, he said, Look and see. Very good. Look and see who is seated on the white horse. White horse. And I remember when I looked through that entrance, now slightly above the two wedding rings, slightly above, on the inside of heaven, Inside heaven, near the, near the entrance, near the wedding ring, slightly above, I saw the most powerful, the most glorious, the most mighty white horse of heaven. Step by step, follow me on this. Step by step. Follow me on this. This is very important. This is the message that gave birth to this revival you see here. I know that in the whole world, right now the message that the Lord is speaking is this latter glory. This latter glory. But, before I discuss this cloud that has now come to the church and what the Lord is saying to the church just now, allow me first discuss how it began. This foundation message here. And we are seeing many cripples walking, the blind, many blind eyes are open, it is amazing, death and the mute and everything. But this is how it started, this original vision here. And that's why today it's essentially laying the foundation for the revival. Hallelujah. So, so listen to this now. And then I'm going to discuss in the afternoon or tomorrow this cloud. Now listen to this now. So now, when the voice spoke and said, look and see, 
who is seated on the white horse. And I remember when I looked up, slightly above the two wedding rings, then I saw the most powerful, the most glorious, the mightiest white horse of heaven. And let me discuss with you this now. The host, the white host of heaven is not the host you see in the Czech Republic. It is not the host that you know. It is a huge host. I remember when I looked at him, the first thing that shocked me was his sheer size, size, big horse, just the size alone, made me fear, tremble, because he's huge, and then he is white, pure white, and glorious, so I could see that. And then, when I was looking at him, look at this now, when I looked at that horse as the Lord commanded me, I did not understand the message. Why? Because I looked at him, then I wondered what is the message. Until I saw his behavior. Very good. When I looked at his behavior, this is what I saw. I saw the white horse of heaven. He was lifting his front legs. He was, uh, 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 very good. And he was crying, crying. In English, they said the name of the horse. There is a way the horse is crying. So, so he was like, just translate everything I say. Yes, he was laid, he was crying. So when he was doing that and crying, his tail, the tail. He was wagging the tail like this. And he was doing like this. In fact, at one point he began to run, run like this inside heaven, like this, like this, like this. Then I understood the message I should bring to the Czech Republic. Then I understood when I saw his behavior. Then I understood the message I should bring to Brno. Brno. I understood the message. Why? Because the Lord, when He made me see Him doing His legs like this and running around like this, then He made me panic, panic. In other words, telling me a jinými slovy mi řekl, říkal, that look, podívej se, the white horse of heaven ten bílý nebeský kůň is about to be released. Tak bude vypuštěn brzy. Is about any moment now will be released. A každou chvíli teď může být vypuštěn. Hallelujah. Now I understood the message I should bring to the precious people of the Czech Republic. And look at this now. The voice said, look and see who is seated on the white horse. And now, when he was running around, then I saw that on him, was covered the glory of the Lord. The Lord was there. The glory, I saw the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, and then I woke up. So that is where I want to begin this conversation between God the Father and the Church of Christ in the Czech Republic. A beautiful nation. 
We were driving along the road yesterday, beautiful, I think some of the most beautiful countries I've seen in the world. The green agriculture, green, green. And, and then the Lord also showed me some healings that to uh, yesterday in the dream, yesterday at night. I have seen some healings, the big revival that is coming to this land. Yesterday at night, this past night, this night here. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Now, when the Lord Jehovah He showed me the spiritual golden wedding rings of heaven and the white glorious horse of heaven. What is the message to you? What is the message to the nation of the Czech Republic? Listen, precious people. We are going to go to the Bible. Very briefly, but before we do that, listen to me. I have been all over the world with this message, and I have seen the condition of the church globally, all the way from New Zealand to Finland up there all the way from South Korea to Canada on the other side and Brazil, Chile everywhere. I have seen the condition of the church today. And in seeing the condition of the church, I have now understood better the significance, the gravity of this message. To bring restoration to the church. Hallelujah. So now, every time the Lord speaks, it's important you understand in the Bible, when you have your Bible, the Old Testament, the New Testament. Every time you see the Lord speaking in the Bible here, you will always find one common benchmark, denominator in that conversation before I give you the revelation of this. And that common denominator is this. You will always hear the Lord when He speaks you will hear him centralizing the holiness of God in the life of man. The righteousness of God in the life of the church. Hallelujah. And so these are common principles that we must adhere to before I give this revelation here. And I see a lot of people coming. We have a lot of chairs here. I see a lot of people coming in now. There are more chairs here. Yes. If you move, come, come for. If you move, move to the chair chair in the middle. Move to the chair in the middle so you can release. Sit down, please. Sit down. So that you can release the chairs at the end. Alex, there are more chairs in the front. Yes, thank you. Now, if you move to the chair in the middle, you will release the lot of Because I see more people coming in. Focus on me now. Please. So, every time the Lord speaks, if you read the Bible, you will always hear the Lord drawing his people to holiness, to righteousness. Even when he spoke with Israel, the conversation was centered around holiness, to, to, to say that, look, I am holy, be holy, for I am holy. Hallelujah. 
So listen to this now. So what is the message to the Czech Republic then? From this vision of the golden, glorious wedding rings and the glorious white horse. Listen, precious people. The Bible, the Bible promises that the Messiah who left would come back. Hallelujah. The Bible promises that the Messiah would come back. And I want to share with you step by step. Listen to this now. When Jesus had completed the work on the cross, and then he took the disciples, he came back, he resurrected. And he took the disciples, he took them to the Mount of Olives. And when they climbed the western slope, western slope, which is facing the eastern gate of Jerusalem, they went on top and slightly on the eastern slopes. Then he stood there with his nail pierced hands. And when he stood there, Jesus lifted up his hands, the nail pierced hands. Like this. To bless them. And when he was blessing them, a cloud came and took him like this and covered him inside heaven. And when that happened, the disciples were shocked. They were perplexed, confused, afraid, in fear, because he was taken in their eyes. That is the time when two appeared and they stood there and they asked them, Man of Galilee, why do you stand here so afraid? Why do you stand here so perplexed? Puzzled. There are many seats in the front, please. If you move in the middle, you'll get somebody will get a seat. Thank you very much. There is one seat here in the front. Thank you very much. You can move a bit. Yes, move a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. There is another seat. So you can adjust yourselves. Thank you. Very well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Thank you. Now look at this now. Two appeared and asked men of Galilee. Why do you look up like this so afraid? Don't you know that this same Jesus who has been taken away from you like this will come back in the same way? The Bible promises that Jesus would come back. Hallelujah. Can we read some scriptures about it? And then I'll be able to define to you which one of the two coming backs I have come to announce. Because you will find that there are two coming backs. Which one have I come to discuss here? But first, let us read the promise in the Bible about the Messiah coming. The book of Acts chapter 1. The book of Acts chapter 1 verse 11. The book of Acts chapter 1 verse 11. I'm going to read from verse 10. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going when suddenly two dressed in white 
stood beside them. A když za ním v nebe jdoucím pilně hleděli, a i dva muži postavili se podle nich v rouše bílé. Vazileme. A jedenáctý verš. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This said Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. A řekli, muži Galilejští, co stojíte, hledíte se do nebe. Tento Ježíš, který vzhůru vzad je spod vás do nebe, tak přijde, jak jste spatřili způsob jeho jdoucího do nebe. So, Takže, the Bible promises, Bible zaslibuje, that Jesus the Messiah, že Ježíš spasitel, will come back. Se vrátí. That's why I'm here. That is why the Lord has been speaking with me about this conversation and this visitation. He said, the Bible promises that the Messiah who went will one day come back. Can I read another scripture? The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 4. Colossians. I need to find it myself. Colossians chapter 3 verse. Verse 4. I need to find that book first. I must find it. Hallelujah. I need to find it. So that we can read it. The book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 4. Can I find that book? Okay. Are you people there? I am not yet there. Hold Hallelujah. Yes, we'll read it together. Yes, we'll read it together. Chapter 3, verse 4. And it says, Okay, I can read from verse 3. For, I'm reading from verse 3. He said, For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Neboť jste zemřeli a váš život je s Kristem ukryt v Bohu. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Až se ukáže Kristus, náš život, tehdy se s ním ve slávě ukážete i vy. John 14, 1-3. Then I will explain, don't worry. Jan 14, raz, dva, tři. John 14, 1-3. Jan 14, raz, dva, tři. He says, říká, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my father's house are many rooms. Can you read verse 1 first with me? Verse 1, John 14. Ať se vaše srdce nerhoutí, věříte v Boha, věřte i ve mě. Verse 2. In my father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. V domě mého otce je mnoho příbytků. Kdyby to tak nebylo, pověděl bych vám. Jdu, abych vám připravil místo. And then he says, uh, verse uh, 3, he says, And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. Matko říká, a když odejdu a připravím vám místo, zase přijdu a vezmu vás k sobě, abyste i vy byli tam, kde jsem já. Many says, a pak říká, you know the way to where I am going. Víte, kam já jdu? You know the way to where I am going. Znáte tu cestu, jak jdu já. Hallelujah. Now listen to this now. Tak teď poslouchím tomuhle. Those scriptures are prayed. Tyto písma, které jsme četli. They promise that the Messiah will come back. And when he comes back, in John 14, he says, he will take you. And that you also may be where he is. Hebrews chapter 9, 28. 
Even that promises the coming of the Messiah. I tam se zaslibuje návrat Mesiáše. So, so, is there a word for so? So, tak. so, tak. the Bible promises that the Messiah will come. Bible zaslibuje, že se Mesiáš vrátí. But focus on me now. A na ní se na mě zaměřte. However, Ale, when you and I look at the Bible, když my se podíváme společně do Bible, you will see two comebacks too. Which one am I talking about? You will see one which is the book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 15. Revelation 16 verse 15. And then I will give you the message. 16-15. There is one coming back there. Is everybody there? Revelation chapter 16 verse 15. Revelation 16:15. Very good. 16:15. Hallelujah. Are you there? This is what he says. Behold, I come like a thief. Blessed is he who stays awake and keeps his clothes with himself. And then he says, so that he may not go naked and be shamefully exposed. Hle, přicházím jako zloděj. Blaze tomu, kdo vidí a střeží svá rucha, aby nechodil nahý a nebyla vidět jeho hamba. That is one coming back. To je jeden návrat. He says, říká, like a thief. Jako zloděj. And many you will, people will not be aware. The way a thief comes, he does not announce, he surprises you. And he says, and, very good. And he says, blessed is he who stays awake. And keeps his clothes with himself. That he may not be put to shame. Hallelujah. But there is another coming back. Let me read it, then I will explain to you which one I have come to announce here today. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Another coming back, then I will explain to you. He says, Revelation 1 verse 7. He says, look, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all the peoples of the earth will mourn because of him, so shall it be. Amen. Hle, přichází z oblaky a spatří ho každé oko, i ti, kdo ho probodli, a budou nad ním kvílet všechny národy země. Jistě. Amen. So, focus on me for a moment now. Focus on me. Takže soustředíte se chvilku. For a moment now. Na chvilku. I have said, that the Bible promises that the Messiah would come back. And we have read the two coming backs. So the question then becomes, you, you see, the, the one we read first, he comes like a thief. Surprise. The one we read now, one seven, he says, he comes and every eye will see him. And he says, even those who pierced him, meaning the enemies of God. Everybody, even the enemies of God. So, which coming of the Messiah have I come to announce to this nation? Takže jaký návrh Mesiášů jsem přišel tomuto národu vyhlásit? I have come, přišel jsem to the Czech Republic, do České republiky, to the city of Brno, do Brna, Brna. I've come to this city, do města, to announce to this nation, abych tomu národu vyhlásil, the coming of the Messiah, příchod Mesiáše, at the midnight hour, like a thief. Hallelujah. Out of the two, this is the one I have come to announce. 
pána, který jsem přišel vyhlásit. And I don't know how you call it in this country. A já nevím, jak vy tady v, v této zemi. Some people call it the return of the Christ. Někteří tomu říkají Kristův návrat. Some people call it the coming of the Messiah. Někteří říkají návrat Mesiáše. Some people call it the day of the Lord. Někteří tomu říkají den Hospodina. Some people call it the rapture of the church. Někteří tomu říkají vytržení církve. But I want to tell you what the Bible calls it. Ale já vám přicházím říct, jak Bible tomu říká. The Bible calls it. Bible to nazývá. The day of the wedding of the Lamb of God. Day of the wedding. Wedding. Aha. Yes, thank you. The day the of the wedding. The, please, can you increase? Just a little, not too much. The Bible. Just the a little. Don't cut me too much. Just a little, not too much. The day. Can you just increase a bit? Just one more. Thank you. The day. A little bit. Is somebody listening? Poslouchat mě tam prosím za rozhovor. Once you're just around me. Broad view, you can go there. Today, can you appear just in the camera on me? Yes, yes. Broad view, broad, broad, right? Then you go there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible calls it. Can you make it sharper because it has disappeared? Takže Bible to možná, je to trochu ostřejší. The day of the wedding of the Lamb of God. Can somebody kill my my sharpness, please? You will kill my voice. Je to den svatby Beránka Božího. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you sharp me? Can you sharp me, please? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Shout at me, please. Hallelujah. So, somebody shout at you, kill my voice. Hallelujah. 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 Make it sharper. Hallelujah. Can you go there, Pastor Bada? Go there, please. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now listen to this now. The Bible calls it the day of the wedding of the Lamb of God. Bible to nazývá dnem svatby Beránka Božího. It is so powerful je to tak mocný, that every time the Lord speaks, že když, pokaž, když Pán mluví, you and I tak ty a já, should be able to align it with Scripture. My jsme měli být schopni to spasovat um, with, the Bible. with the Bible. S verší v Bibli. With the word. Ze slovem. Can you hear that now? Můžete to slyšet? Ah, to, co říkám. That every time the Lord speaks, that is very good now. Thank you, thank you so much. That is good now. Thank you. Don't, don't touch it again. Prosím, už to neštelujte. So that I can continue to read this. A Now listen to this now. It is so powerful because of the current condition of the church. Kvůli stávajícímu stavu církve. Globally. Globálně. Where there is so much deception in the church. Je tam tolik svodů v církvi. It is so powerful. Je to tak mocné. That whenever the Lord speaks. Že kdykoliv pán promluví. You and I. Tak ty a já. Must find it in the Bible. To musíme najít v Bibli. Amen. 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 Must align it with scripture. Musí to sedět s písmem. Amen. In fact. Ve skutečnosti. If. The church, když církev, if the pastors, když pastoři, had bothered, uh, je trápilo, if they had taken some effort, kdyby trošku dali úsilí, to make sure, aby se ujistili, that every time somebody comes to you, že pokaždé, když vám někdo přijde, and says God has spoken, a říká, Bůh řekl tohle. If the pastors had made an effort, kdyby se pastoři trochu snažili, to always verify with the word, vždycky to ověřit v písmu. Amen. That nobody can ever lie to the church. That nobody can ever lie to the church. Tak už nikdo by církve nemohl lhát. Hallelujah. That is why I come. I come with a room to clean up the church. But in that cleaning of the church, but in the cleaning of the church, in that cleaning of the church, he say that every time the Lord speaks, you must go to the Bible and find it. And if you find it, there Also is the message. Tak je tam ta zpráva. The instruction. Ta instrukce. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, let us now go to the Bible. A takže pojďme teď do písma. 
and see what does the Bible say about this vision of the two golden glorious wedding rings. And the white horse. So come with me now to the book of Revelation chapter 19. We are reading only three verses. Verse 6 to verse 9. Revelation chapter 19. Verse 6 to verse 9. And I know most of you have cell phones, smartphones, so you can get it faster. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 19. What a beautiful day here in Bergman. I am blessed to come to you. Why? Because in Kenya, in Kenya you see millions of people in one meeting. It's unbelievable. We have to get 92 acres. 92 acres, 92, nothing less. The revival that this message brings is historic. So, so in Kenya, you see that explosion of revival some of you have seen on the roads where people are full, they block the highway. Takže vidíte to probuzení v Kenii, kde prostě lidi jsou všude, jsou tam miliony, blokují silnice a někteří z vás to tady viděli. But when I come to Brna, a když já přijdu do Brna and I see you people, a vidím vás lidičky, this is bigger than those millions. tak tohle je větší než ty videa. And they are preparing now. A se. And the Christians are living a holier life, holy. A začínají žít svatý život, svatý. But, but now for Brno, Ale nyní, pro Brno, this is new. Tohle je nové. So the Lord is making games, games, games. Takže pán dělá pokrok, kroky a kroky. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why this is important. A proto je to důležité. Because the millions have already heard. Ty miliony už to slyšeli. I put it on TV. I put it on radio. So they have heard. But for Brno, this is now a new and a new beginning. They can take this message and understand what the Lord is saying at this hour. And that will be another nation that is preparing for the coming of the Messiah. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 19, 6 to 9. Listen to what he says, verse 6. He says, Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters, and like loud peals of thunder shouting, Hallelujah! For our Lord God Almighty reign. A uslyšel jsem hlas jakoby velikého zástupu, jako zvuk mnohých vod a jako zvuk silných hrobů, který říkal Haleluja! A na náš mohoucí Bůh se ujal králování! Haleluja! He is saying in verse 1, verse 6, a říká v tom šesté verši, that he heard, že slyšel, like the roar of rushing waters, grand multitude, jako obrovský zástup, jako když se valí voda. Loud peals of thunder. Jako úplně hrom, když hřmí. He is describing. Tak popisuje. The historic celebration he saw. To je historický stav, co, co viděl. The historic felicitation and jubilation he heard and saw. To navštívení, ten, tu událost, kterou viděl. Historic. Historicko. Historicko. And then, now, verse 7, he begins to talk about the reason, the reason there is historic celebration in the kingdom of God. The reason. A potom ve verši 7 říká ten důvod, proč se tohle stalo. Verse 7. Verš 7. He says, říká, let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the day of the wedding of the Lamb has come. 
and his bride has made herself ready, ready. Radujeme se, jasněme a zdejeme mu slávu, neboť nadešla svatba Beránkova a jeho manželka se připravila. Hey, he say, říká, that there was a historic celebration. že ta historická oslava in the kingdom of God. v Božím království. But look at this. Ale hleďte na tohle. He say, říká, that the reason they are celebrating is because there is a day there is a day that God has put aside God has put that day apart aside there is a day that the Lord has separated let me say let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. Radujeme se, já se jme, zdejme mu slávu. For that day has arrived. Už ten den nastal. Finally has arrived. Konečně nastal. Really? A to znamená, been waited for too long. Už se dlouho očekalo. For that day to come. Než ten den přijde. And finally, a konečně, that day has arrived. Ten den přišel. And he said, when that day arrives, ten den přijde, that is the reason they celebrate. To je ten důvod, proč tak slaví. Because they have waited too long for it. To velmi dlouho čekali. But look at the real underlying reason. Ale podívejme se na ten skutečný důvod. Is that when that day finally arrives, ten den konečně přichází, when heaven looked at the church, když nebe skouká na církev. When heaven, the day arrives and heaven look at the church. A nebe kouká na církev, když ten den přijde. Look at the bride of Christ. Kouká na nevěstu Kristovu. They found, they found, tak shledává, that she is ready. Že je připravena. Je připravena. Did you understand? That is the reason I have come to Brno. And I want to say I was supposed to come early. But I could not come. Because the Lord retained me. Until now I have come. And this is very deep. Why? He said I have come to Brno. That there is a special day. Že je zvláštní den. That God in heaven, God the Father, který Bůh v nebi, Otec, has put aside. Oddělil. As a special day. Jako speciální den. And he said. A říká. That when that day arrives. Když ten den přijde. And there will be a historic explosion of celebration. Že bude historický výbuch radosti. Explosion, excuse me. Úplná explosie. And he said. That the real reason why that celebration will take place in heaven. Že ten skutečný důvod proč ta obrovská oslava bude v nebi. Is because. Je protože. When that awaited day arrives. Ten očekávaný den, když přijde. And they look at the church. A oni se podívají na církev. Of Christ. Kristovu. The bride. Nevěstu. Of Christ. Kristovu. They will see that she is ready. Tak uvidíš, že je připravena. Then they will celebrate. But how does heaven know that the church is ready? Can we go to the next verse? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let us read the next verse. Verse eight. He says, "Finally, the bride and clean was given her to wear." And he says, "Finally." For the righteousness of the church. A říká, že ten zářík věcí byl dán je spravedlnost církve. A, yeah. a bylo jí dáno, aby si oblékla zářivě čistý kvent a ten kvent jsou spravedlivé činy svatých. He say, Takže říká, <laughs> this is important. to je důležité. I am happy that I am finally come. Šťastný, že jsem přijít konečně. He say, 
Takže říkám, when that day arrives, když ten den přijde, and let God in heaven, a je tam oslav nebi, heaven looks at the church, protože nebe se podívá na církev, and find that the church is ready, a zjistí, že církev je připravená, there will be historic celebration, to je obrovská oslava historická, meaning, což znamená, life has not happened before, taková jako nikdy ještě nebyla, why? Because we know that the Messiah went to the cross. Že my víme, že Messiah šel na kříž. We know that. To víme. And he suffered abuse. A byl tam stamatér. A byl tam zneužitý. Tortured. Mučený. The Messiah suffered too much. Příliš trpěl. But listen to this. Ale na co jde tam to? When you look at the way the Lord is describing this day. Když se vyjádřím na způsob, jak Pán popisuje ten den. The real and the lying reason. Skutečný opravdu důvod for their celebration pro tu oslavu is when they look at the church. Je to, že když se pohledají na církev. In this nation, v tomhle národě, in Czech Republic, in Czech Republic, and find that the church is ready. Tak si říkají, že církev je připravena. But how do they know? Ale jak to poznají? That the church is ready. Že církev je připravena. Look, look at this now. Look at this. Podívejte se na to. He say, říká nám, that when heaven looks at the church on that day. Že toho dne, když nebe pohledí na církev and find that the church a shledá, že církev is wearing, je oblečná v oblečná v ten zářivý kment bright and clean. čistá a zářivá then they will celebrate. a budou slavit. Because now they know she's ready. Že potom ví, že je připravená. Ty tomu porozumíte. And I'm walking with you step by step. Because I want you to catch everything. This is so powerful, it broke this revival. It's so big. Oh. He's saying that when heaven will see the church wearing a garment, And that garment, tak to roucho, is called fine linen, bright and clean, bright. Je to ten zářivý kmen, kmen zářivý a čistý. Then there will be celebration and stop people. Ta bude nezastavitelná oslava. Ej! 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 Please, translate me, because I'm really on fire here. Ej! Because, because my prophetic time, you translate everywhere, everywhere, you say. Yes. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Listen, be careful. And then he says, that that garment is actually the righteousness of the church. Righteousness. Do you now understand why I have come? A nyní už rozumíte, proč jsem přišel? I have been all over the world. Byl jsem všude po světě. Taking this announcement here. A vyhlašoval jsem toto. This message here. Tento vzkaz. To the whole earth. Celé zemi. Listen to me. Poslouchejte. I have seen the condition of the church. A viděl jsem stav církve. One over. Jeden. Všude, všude okolo. Celý svět. Celý svět. Celý svět. I have seen the condition of the church. Viděl jsem stav církve. 